Welcome back, yummy butter cake. Why do you watch my channel? To get smarter, to get friendlier, to get more yummy. I'm here to tell you <clears throat> every year there's a scam that all the influencers do. And in my community, we want to do things differently. Instead of making everybody less intelligent, instead of exploiting everyone, taking power from everyone, which is evil, I want to do something different. I want to give you power. I'm here to empower you. That's why a lot of you will love watching my channel. You love joining the community. You love eating bananas with your back straight. You love wearing fl fluffy slippers because you're here to learn and get smarter. When we get smarter, we grow together. So every year I see this, every three months actually, you're going to see new trading challenges. What I'm going to do, whenever I see a new grift, a new scam, I'll just throw it out there for you. You can come visit my Twitter, visit my YouTube, please like, subscribe, bell button, all, and you get to see the patterns. You're going to get more intelligent, more wise. You're going to smarten up. You need street smarts in this game because really at the end of the day, you know who succeeds? You already know who succeeds. The person who just buys and holds. The person who's not even checking every day. But if you don't check every day, you don't learn as much. So it's a catch-22. So I've noticed, right, in the second half of the year 2022, there were many influencers who did a trading challenge. What they'll do is, look what happens, okay? All of them are gone now, so you already know how it ends. But all of them will start a challenge. They say, I've got $10,000. I'm turning into $1 million. And this is very common. Many influencers do it. It's for either social media farming and clout or to grift you somewhere to sell you a product. Either way, bad move. It doesn't even matter what their intention is. Just like somebody who's giving illicit substances to a child. It doesn't matter what their intention is. You know it's going to be a bad outcome. So they do it because they have no downside. Because they just block you. <laughs> That's what happens. If someone calls them out, they just get blocked. So they'll make a challenge and they'll say, well, I've got you know, $50,000 here. I'm going to turn it into $1 million. Follow me. And then if it doesn't work out, they'll just disappear. But if it does start to work out, more people will start following them. They'll get more views. They get more attention. They sign up to their leverage trading. They buy their courses. They'll buy in. They'll give the influencer money. The influencer benefits, but you don't benefit. It's the wrong thing to do. But this happens every single time. If there are green candles in the market, you better believe there's somebody trying to exploit it and trying to make the most of every dollar that they spent in a leverage position long. So, but here's a, a shameful truth. Most of them have blown their accounts completely and they've stopped tweeting about the challenge. I tracked a few, but I'm now thinking back and I can now relay this to you. Most of them are just gone. Twitter account deleted. They just fizzled out into nothingness. Gone. And, you know, a few of them will make a bit of an excuse. Oh, I got sick. Oh, I need the money. It doesn't matter. You know they're all full of, full of poop. You know it's not the truth. So these challenges, there's no downside to them. It's basically a roulette wheel spin. If it works out, it's a big upside. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't matter. You know, we have a memory attention span of a goldfish. In crypto, I mean, look how fast the news cycle goes. You don't even remember what was happening in February, let alone what was happening a month before that. That's why these people, they keep coming back. And, you know, you might ask, well, if we just ignore them, then everything's going to be fine. And I'll say, yes, it's fine, but I'm here to tell you because you're a baby doll, baby cake, you're a sugar pie, you're a buttercup, I'm here to let you know, me, personally, I've had enough. Because I have seen too many people stray from the path of hodling. They stray 
from long-term vision and long-term thinking, and then they get sucked into these over and over again. And I'm fully aware I can't stop everybody. My job is not to stop everyone. My job here is to make you a bit smarter. That's it. You might have friends and family that follow. That's okay. Let them go damage themselves. If you try to help them and they get wrecked, who cares? You tried. But don't go do it yourself. Even if they start making money, the most dangerous position to be in is when they start winning at the beginning. That's the most dangerous position because then you start tilting. You actually get FOMO. You start following them. Someone new always comes in. Oh, I've got a new trading system. Yeah, I've got a trading system too. But when you hear about the ones on YouTube and Twitter or a new challenge that someone's doing, by the time it hits your eyeballs, it's only gained attention from other people watching because the win rate is no longer 50 to 80%. It's up to like 90% plus some sort of big win rate. And that's actually the top. You're an RSI 90 signal there. And I'll let you know, this recycles, man, every four months. I'm not joking, like clockwork. These people are just there to farm followers. Never, ever forget that. I can go through the Bitcoin chart and I can show you. I still remember every single time this always happens. Right? I've just got a super trend here for Bitcoin. I'm going to remove this for you. But look at this. I remember, this was even 2022. There were certain influencers. Don't even worry about their names. Challenge here. Challenge here. Challenge here. There was someone who did a big challenge here. Got licked. Probably got licked. Well, obviously, they just disappeared. So, you know, you got licked. Interestingly enough, on the actual FTX bottom, like right here, I made a Twitter post saying, hey, one of these trading challenge influencers, he's actually bearish now for the first time in two years. I'm not kidding. I don't even remember the last time this guy was bearish. I, I, I I'm poop you not, friends. He was actually bearish down here. So he was bullish. This whole time, <laughs> I'm not joking, all this time, he was bullish, he got bearish here, and I made a Twitter post about it, I was like, hey, this guy is now calling for Bitcoin to crash below to fourteen to $10,000 and below, and I, I think this has to be a bottom signal, man, like we finally, we got him, this guy was like relentlessly bull, doing all these scamming, grifting, pump and dumps, he always gets... New, inf new new people in and out, always pretending, he's always like lying, he's always like deleting his challenges, etc. This one guy, and I'm like, wait, you're now bearish? Guess what? Look what happened. It was the bottom. It was interesting. I did not tag him, but someone else, you know, you know me, I'm just a humble little baby doll peanut like you. Someone let him know that I sent, I made this tweet about him. And it was interesting, I did not mention his name, I mentioned nothing. I was just trying to warn you guys, I was like, and by the way, this picture had him, it had him with all, with like a, uh, all these Twitter posts, he, 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 he's like, I'm so bullish, started my challenge, I'm so bullish, like all over the whole way, every single one, he's just starting a challenge, or I'm so bullish, this is the low, and then, and I just had this picture, I was like, well, he's now bearish down here. Right? And it wasn't tagging him or anything. But if you look closely in the picture, you could see who it was. And he went in and he blocked me. So, I mean, it was fascinating to see that these people have absolutely no shame making all this money off innocent people. And then here I am just trying to inform you. Like, I don't even care about his followers. People are going to be stupid and do their own thing. But I'm here to just tell you. And somehow, through the internet, the little webs of the internet, the network... He finds out and he just has a hissy fit and he blocks me. So this is why, friends, you can't, you can't, there's no winning key. I'm just here to make you smarter. Let's see, I'm here to tell you, no, this is not the new way. And yes, you know what's going to happen? You will see. See, during this time, challenges appeared here, friends. You know, this Bitcoin move up. People started challenges up here. Now, those challenges really started here, but people were gambling. So they didn't actually know they were going to succeed in a challenge until it was too late up here. Then the challenges became more common. And guess what? A lot of people got absolutely destroyed. But that's how it always starts. People are long down here for like their 10th time. And we don't know that it's going to go up. And then it does. And then people start to get fancy. So that's why I'm saying 
there are people, maybe they did like 10 different leverage longs, but they're long down here. Maybe Bitcoin goes up somewhere further down the line. Who knows? By the time you're watching this video, at some point, market goes up and then people start to get excited. I just want you to know it, they're doing the inverse, right? They're doing the inverse. You were here, man. You were here when FTX collapsed. People were crying. People were literally crying on streams on YouTube, crying, depressed. People were tweeting, I am so ashamed to be a part of this stupid industry. Prices go down. Everything's a freaking scam and there's nothing to show for it. It was absolute depression. And yeah, the prices are still depressing. Don't think that this Bitcoin is, oh, Bitcoin's saving us. Like, I love Bitcoin. Thank you so much. But hello, Bitcoin underperformed here big time. This is a freaking joke. This should have been like 3x higher. This should have been Bitcoin 150k. It should have been like this. Then we can cry about it. We never even got, never, never even got to party, right? We never got to party and then everyone starts crying anyway. It, this is depression multiplied by depression. That's how bad it is. So just because Bitcoin's up, ooh, halfway in the range, back to 30K. That's a joke. That's a joke. You should have gone 150K, 180K. So I don't know what happens from here. I just know that the game's getting harder. And I know more of these influencers are going to keep telling you that like, they're, they're going to keep blowing their accounts. They're going to keep doing this. And the, the candles are eventually going to go up, friends. And there's going to be someone leveraged long telling you, come and join me. Come leverage trade. I've got a system. You can follow me, et cetera, et cetera. They are grooming you for the next bull market. They're grooming you because when this bull market comes, they're going to have ICOs, inside deals. They're going to dump. They're going to find their own way to grift. It's a new scheme every single time. Everyone's going to think it's different. It's not. Cycle's going to repeat human fee and greed. However, the issue is more of us know that people aren't in crypto for the tech anywhere near the levels that they are in for the money. And this is very dangerous because if... If you knew that only, let's say within an experiment, if you knew you had a room of 10 people and only one was in there to make money, but nine were in there to, for the technology, you would have all the confidence in the world that whatever it is you're invested in might go all the way to Pluto because you're the only person in there who's in it to actually make money. Everyone else is in there for the tech. So they don't, they're not thinking about dollar signs and charts and valuations and selling. They didn't care about any of that. They didn't care about competition and all these other things. They care about decentralization and other stuff which might be counterintuitive to price pumps. But now inverse that. What if you're in a room, there are nine people who are there to make money in the casino and only one person is there for the tech? Nine to one, because that's what it is right now. Look around you. Be honest. Look around you. You know it's like that. That's the ratio. There's only one person in there for the tech. The rest of them, nine are in here for the money. That's the reality of it. So this is not, I'm not here to say this is good or bad, left, right, up, down. Wetting your feathers on your back because you're a little duck. We don't, we're not here for that. We're not here to judge. I'm just here to tell you this is the game. The game parameters are this. Nine people are in our casino to make money. Therefore... What does it mean? It means expect more diminished returns like this. That's what it means. Expect more diminished returns wherever they want to diminish us. Because more people are in there to make money. So if you really want to know, friends. You're going to see more of these grifters coming in, all these challenges, and they're going to appear more in numbers because the upside is limited now. So at the end of the day, you know this. Okay, back in back before, back in the day. Back in the day, when you were reading about these Bitcoin stories and yeah, some people hodled, etc. No one was throwing, not many people were throwing $80,000 life savings into Bitcoin here. No one was doing it back then. They were throwing lunch money. But now, what are people doing in crypto? Now they're actually throwing in life savings. They have life savings up here. Which means, what it means is, back in these days, a 10x barely tickled anyone's fancy. To get anyone excited, you got to start going to like 50x. Start to get excited. Because, you know, people had like 5k in there. Give them 50x. Woohoo, 250k. That's what happened. But now, people don't have $5,000 in crypto anymore. There are many people out there. They've got like a full 200k put in. A full 150k. 
right? So you now may think, oh, they must be a an intelligent investor with a long-term vision. No, they're not. Spoken to a lot of people? No. They're still the same humans. They are tempted by like a 3X, a 2 to 3X. Yeah, they are. It's the truth. They're not, they don't have anywhere near the steel ovaries or the spherical steel balls to hold for 50X. No way. Some of us do. Of course, some of us do, but we're in our own little bubble. I'm talking about the average person out there, the average person who's part of the subscriber count is following those big YouTubers, etc. They are not, they can't fathom holding for 50X, let alone a 10X. They're in too deep. So with me, obviously, I'm trained in the game. I know whether I have $1 or 1000 or 100K or a million, I sleep exactly the same way in certain uh, crypto. Exactly the same way. I don't care because the strategy is the strategy. This is how I'm, this is how you know, friends, you're in, you're in good hands here, good wings. Because what I always tell you, I tell you, you wake up every day, my final message to you, you wake up every day and you check, are we in 2025 yet? And if we're not, you keep holding. Keep holding on to our friendship. Like, subscribe, bell button, all friends. Tell mum and dad that you love them.